doing things with bees. It's very, very, very hard to film when I do things with bees, but I really wanted to try and film this because this is the top bar hive. I've looked already looked at the three hives, the original hive and the split and the swarm. They're all down there in what I call my apiary. And if you're following with the bees, uh, what happened was um, I had another swarm. I was going to the dentist, remember? And I had another swarm and I thought, if they're still there when I get back, I'll put them in this top bar hive. Now I've looked twice since then and they're really thriving, but I haven't looked again. So I don't know how I'm going to manage to do this because um, it's going to be hard to film, but we'll give it a, sh we'll give it a try. I've got some new top bars in case there's any that I can take out here. Uh, I mean, probably there won't be, but uh, we'll have a look. We don't know till we look, do we? I'll turn you off and then I'll show you when we're inside. So I've taken the roof off and what you can see here is these bars here. Oh, roof my smoker. Ooh, it's affecting me as well. These are the bars that the bees build the comb on. I just need to get my hive tool. Because bees stick everything together with something called propolis, which is like bee glue. I'm just going to give them a bit more smoke there. Smoke is going really well. I don't think they need it. They're very, very calm. And so I'm going to take this. Now this top bar has nothing at all on it. But this one has. So I don't know how going to be in here if I separate this out. Okay, that one. Oh my word, there's a lot of honey in there. Oh, these bees are unbelievable. What my aim today is, if I can, is to take one of these combs. I'm going to take the camera out now. So, <laughs> this is really tricky. I need a camera person really, but I won't open it up for too long, although it's a really, really lovely evening. Okay. Let's see if that works. So what I want to do now then, that little bar there has got a little bit of comb on that the bees have built down, but this one here has got loads. Now, I'll just very carefully pull that aside and lift this up. And this is how the bees build. Have I got the camera lined up? Yeah, I have. This is how the bees build a top bar hive. Now, oh, it's beautiful, isn't it? Now, they had nothing at all there, nothing. And they've built this up. It's not got much honey in. In fact, it's got hardly any honey in. So I'm going to leave that one for the bees. My hope was that one of these would be filled with capped honey and they might not mind if I took a bit of it. You don't take it all, you just take a little bit. I'll just give them a bit more smoke, they're just getting a bit... They don't like this, why would they? They were quite happy in their, in their little home before I came along. Oh dear, that was quite a thing. Oh, there's a bee in the camera. <laughs> Come on, bee. How'd you get? I'll just smoke the camera. So I'm just going to sit here in the pavilion for a few minutes until all those bees get off my suit and uh, <laughs> and off my camera. That's quite fun, isn't it? So I've had two stings there. I don't blame them because I was disturbing them more. Now the thing about top bar hives is you're supposed to be able to stir them less. But I'm not very good at it yet, obviously, am I? I'm going to keep my suit on for a few minutes because there's a few bees around. But what I've managed to do this evening there, apart from upset the bees in the top bar hive, which is a shame, uh, I'm just going to... I think I might... Uh, we'll risk it now. I think they've all gone. And then I looked in the top bar hive, which... Um, I've been wanting to do for ages 
and probably shouldn't have because uh, I did disturb them a little bit there and I did knock a piece of comb off. I'm going to have to read a lot more about how top bar hives work because you're supposed to be able to pull out one of the bars with the with the comb of honey underneath it. But in fact that one was um, a swarm and they haven't built up they haven't built up a great lot. I'll just discourage discourage a few borders here. So I'm going to uh, go in now and make a note of what I've done from each of the hives. I've taken three combs of honey off one hive, which was just really, really good. And I've taken one comb of honey off another and none off the one in the middle, which was the first swarm. That hasn't, that's interesting. Neither of the swarms have built up terribly well, but I need to get them through the winter. And, um, I mean, I know it's only August, but I've got to start thinking now about preparing them for winter. So I've taken that honey off there, not much, four frames off three, four hives. And I've, um, there's still plenty of summer to go. Well, not, maybe there's warm days. The heather's just a mile away. They may find the heather. There's still plenty of forage around and about so they can fill those combs again, but then I'm going to feed them with a, 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 a honey substitute uh, and then I'm also going to unite um, the colonies. I can't, I, I don't know, I can't unite a top bar hive, can I? I don't know how to do that. Oh, there is another bee there. Go on bee, go back to your house. That's it, that way, that way. And so I am going to go in now and get the extractor going and we'll extract some honey tonight. It's a nice night which is why I decided to go into the bees because uh, um, I haven't been into them for a while. It's been a success. I didn't expect to get very much honey this year and to get four frames we'll see what that produces. Five frames actually. Yeah I've got one that I can use for cut comb which is really exciting. Come on then, we'll just leave the smoker here to go out. Just open it up like that and then leave that on the table and that'll go out. There's another bee, we'll just get rid of you. Go on bee, back to your sisters. Oh, two bees. Okay, they're all right. They don't want anything to do with me. Okay, we're gonna go in now. This is when you're really grateful that you put everything away clean and tidy. Okay, so these are the combs that I've got off the bees just now, four. And they all have a green W on them, which means that they have wire in. And the wire means that I can put them in here. But I have a fifth comb, which is an unwired frame, and we're going to cut that and put it into jars. So this is the little sieve thing that I'm going to cut the cappings into. Let's, um, I'll bring you over here so that I can show you how I'm doing that. But it, what beautiful pale honey this is. These are little bits of nectar that will just get sieved out when the thing has been extracted. Okay, and straight into the extractor. It's dipping onto the plate, so that's okay. And into the extractor with the first frame. And this one takes two frames, so I'll get a second one now and do the same with this. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Thank you bees. Such hard work and I'm just doing this so that I can have a bit of honey. I've left loads of honey on for them. Absolutely loads. I've just taken four from four colonies.
I've finished extracting those four frames of honey and when they're finished they look like this they're very very lightweight and what beekeepers call wet combs and I'll put those back on the hives for the bees to clean up and take any remaining honey for themselves and then you can see can't you that that's all I've got it's pretty much the same as last time when I did uh, an extraction. So now I'm going to, I've got it all rigged up so that everything's the right heights. And I'm gonna open that up now and let the honey flow out. I may have to chock up the back of the, uh, of the extractor so that it'll pour in. And then it's going into a sieve, which will sieve it into the settling tank here. And that's closed. So I'm just going to let that drip and now we're going to do something with this comb, which is another fabulous comb of honey. And this one's got a UW on the top there, which means that the comb is unwired. And so that if I was to put it in the extractor, it would just disintegrate. So instead what I'm gonna do, I'm going to cut it into chunks and put it in these jars. I've sterilized the jars by putting them on a hot wash in the dishwasher and then putting the lid straight on. So what, uh, now, where am I gonna, where's the best place for you guys to watch this? Um, I'll lay this down on this board. Tilt that up so that you can see, isn't that beautiful? And I'm gonna try and do this with you guys so that you can see what I'm doing. So I want it to fit into the jar so um, I'm going to cut it like that, like that, and then out of the frame, oops, like that, and with this one, the frame, the comb and the cappings and everything goes into the jar. Oh, I cut that just right. There, that's just right. Now I know it sticks out at the top, but I'll cut that bit off. And uh, what I might do, if there's not much honey in it, I might put it into the settling tank. So let's just uh, do another one of those. And it's, it's leaking out onto the board, but that's all right. That's okay. So I'll cut another one about that size there. Absolutely chock full of honey, this stuff. I'll cut it loose top and bottom. Aren't bees wonderful things? And that can go straight into the jar. That's perfect because I'll just trim the tops of these off and either put it in the jars or put it in the settling tank. Okay, well I'm going to put you where you can see what I'm doing. And I'm going to carry on and do that because it's all leaking out onto the board now. So I want to... I want to do this quite quickly. Ooh. Will you look at that? Isn't that amazing? Now, there's someone I'm related to who lives in Canada who's going to have one of these when he comes home in November. I'll put one aside for you. Uh, maybe two more, maybe three. I've got enough jars for three, so. Although I might put that last little bit in the main tank. We'll see.
Okay, I'm going to cut this here and put this bit in this jar. So this can be just a jar of bits. That's how I'm going to do that. So the little fit on, and this can be a jar for me. bad to eat but we'll just take that out maybe see if we can stick it in beside it a little chunk in there make that super bumper one that's nice and the same here and we'll put another little well, maybe we can get all of that in Two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's okay, I'm happy with that. Okay, cloth now. Got everything all cleaned up. 